Hello everybody, this is uh, Fide Chess Master Sohan Fadke and welcome back to the fourth episode of uh, Golden Moves. So Golden Move is finding one best move and the difference between uh, win or loss is just decided by one move. So you just have to find one good move sometimes as I say chess is so simple you just need to hold your instincts and just find a focused one solution. So we are focusing on that and this is white to play and you can see uh, white's attack has crashed through a weak king on h8. Actually you can see each and everything, each and every piece of white is attacking black. So this should be winning at any cost. But again chess is a matter of speed as well, the time as you can call it. Like even though you have everything but you need to get the job at the right time. I mean sometimes you have to spend a lot of, you have to do some investment just to gain time. Else uh, if, if, if the time is lost you, you, you lose the opportunity. So here even though white has completely crashed through, black's complete uh, king side is broken, all the white pieces are attacking. You know that white is winning but you need to find that winning move. Can you find it? It's white's to play, white to play and win. Okay, so you can see from this position, you can see a weakness on g7. You can see that some someone should come here. You can see g8 square, something can happen. You can also see the back rank. So if you see each and everything together, then you find the solution. If you just look at one idea, like if I want to checkmate if this on g7 and play something like knight f5, this won't help because I think he can just take on f6 and after this this square can easily be protected by knight g6 and I think uh, black is okay now you need to see as a whole if you just see the g7 weakness and find the move sometimes maybe it might be wrong so we need to combine the attack on g7 maybe g8 and the back rank together and the move is, yeah, if you find it good, and the uh, move is breaking the coordination, you call it disconnecting the devices, as I generally uh, have explained in one video, and the move is knight e8. Now, knight e8 disconnects the two devices. Number one, it threatens mate in one with queen g7. Suppose he plays queen e8 or bishop e8, queen g7 or bishop g7 both is mate and the main question remains what happens to bishop at 6 the point is knight on e8 controls g7 so we can just play queen f at check bishop f at check and rook f8 mate thanks to this pawn helping stones thanks to this knight disconnecting the devices so my attacking notes will slowly unfold it will come out and uh, you will have a good time enjoying this series of golden moves so that is all for this fourth episode. Uh, slowly, slowly we are going to get deeper. Uh, slowly I am going to show you more beautiful examples. At the same time more uh, challenging ones as well. I hope you like this one. Uh, stay tuned for the fifth one. Thank you. Bye-bye.